first time to the music scene in the early 2000s with huge hits like this one, I'm Like a Bird and Promiscuous. <laughs> well, now, guys, some 20 years later, those uh. songs are making a huge comeback among Gen Zs, and so is Nelly. In fact... Nellie is here, <laughs> and you've got a big announcement to make at this moment. I do. What is it? <laughs> um, my seventh album, actually, um, my seventh studio album is um, coming out on September 20th, so we launched that announcement today. Oh, and yay! Pre yeah. Well, yeah. Amazing! So how does it feel? Because people have waited for a long for time for this. For seven years. Yes, it's been seven years. Long years. I've been in, in there just like working on the music, and I've worked so hard on it. It actually took me four years to make this album. Wow. I had 500 songs that 500? I whittled down only 14. Don't worry. It's not five. <laughs> it's only like 35 minutes, but, but yeah, a lot of passion went in it. I'm, I'm, I am, I am elated. I'm thrilled. Oh, yeah. And, you know, you, there was a period where you didn't know if you'd make more music. Yeah. Yes. That right? uh, yeah, that's true. I kind of like go through that. I, I, I write all my songs. Like I, I'm really, it's really a part of who I am. Yeah. I don't see it so much as a job. It's really just like a part of me. So mm -hmm. I take my time, you know, yeah. I admired artists like, you know, maybe Sade, she goes away for a decade, comes back, yes. you know, I think it's okay to take your time. Yeah. Yes. Um, and then, you know, you got to deal with life, right? I also, I'm a, I'm a mom, I have three kids. Yes. And I love both those things, but I feel like now it's a different time in my life where I just want to make both things work together, and I love creating so much. So yeah. tell us about the seven years of that came to this album okay, because okay. you your your life yeah. has gone through highs and lows and that's what makes music quite frankly yeah. when someone puts an album out every few months you're like wait how much life has been in there you have a lot of life in yeah. this one there's a lot in there <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah tell us about that i cried a lot in the studio but it's Did not you? a sad album no. because quickly my Friday nights at the studio became my whole social life, okay? Yeah. And it was like, oh, I wonder if anyone will notice that um, we spend every Friday night in here, but I'm kind of loving it. So yeah. it quickly became like a celebration, you know? Um, so you can you can show up at the studio with a little bit of heartbreak and quickly turn it into, it's like you're mining for, for gold. Yeah. yeah. You're kind of mining and you're like, you see a glimmer of gold and then all of a sudden it's a gold rush of like passion, inspiration, joy, tears, celebration, stay in, in the studio till 8 a.m. Oh my um, gosh. So you all night you long. Love it like yeah, that. I write very spontaneously. I just keep the microphones going and I just the music just comes through me like the, the, the lyric and the melody together I, that's yeah. how it works. That, yeah, I, no, I grew up. Cool. Yeah. I grew up watching my father do that. Um, yeah. We're from the Azores, in mm -hmm. Portugal. Yeah, and uh, he would do Desafio singing, which is actually you just make it up off the top of your head and you compete that way, and you and you, you and do that, that at the local sort of um, so festivals. Great. Yeah, um, so, so and yeah, <laughs> for being a mom, your eldest yes, daughter mom. actually mm -hmm. worked with you on this album. Yeah, which she's was... finishing up at NYU, and she is turning 21 soon, and she now works in the music business. She does her own stuff. So like a, a, a whole other gig she does yeah. full time but in her spare time she would come to the studio and we, she even wrote some songs with me um total blessing How i could have never imagined that? that that is so sweet what's that movie as good as it gets yeah. yes that's as good as it gets oh. yeah I mean, a oh daughter that God. works yeah. with you. That's mm -hmm. so that and beautiful. Then I, and then I've got, her, you know, her, her little sister six, her yeah. younger brother's five. So How it's a busy, it's, it's a busy. <laughs> adult, adult child and then little, little kids. Little. Yes, and I, you know, I met some great women in this process. I work with a lot of cool females and producers and young artists and all kinds of people. And some of them are mothers too. Yeah. And they are out there doing it. So we'll just text each other and say, I just got back from the studio. And they'll say, I just got off the stage in Amsterdam. And, uh. And it's a friendship thing, you know? It's yeah. just like knowing that you need both. You yes. know, I can be a mom, and I love being a mom, but I kind of forgot I also have to do my thing. Yeah. You, you know, know what? That's such a good lesson, because yeah. I think a lot of us, with, we all we both have young kids, too. Sometimes you do lose yourself, and you forget, like, there's something that brought you joy and lo and life that yeah. you're that you're tapping yes. back into. It is. Has your music yeah. changed since the little ones? I think it's gotten better. Yeah. Yeah, because when you're around young people, yeah. it's it's so natural to just feel that flow of life and tap into your inner yes. child. Yes. And if you can tap into your inner child a little bit and play, right? Yeah. Isn't life about play? Yes, yes it is. it's fun. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, yeah. well, we have a video <laughs> that is every single child <laughs> and inner child would want to see. You were in backstage. Oh. Taylor Swift <laughs> came up to oh you. Oh, my God, yes. And was wildly fangirling. in inner child. Uh -huh. Totally fangirling yeah. over you. Was that a moment where you were like, two worlds into one, like this wild... Yeah, because I was like, no, you weren't. Like, yes, I was. I was like, no, because I'm, of course, I mean, she's an icon, and I think that 
it's such a beautiful flow of life to know that your songs made an impact 20 years later. Yes. You know what I mean? Because you do, you second guess yourself and you go, oh, maybe, you know, maybe it was just a thing, a trend. But then when you see new generations enjoying your music, it becomes very real. How do you feel coming back again after seven years? You, you talked about Sade, how she goes away for 10 and comes back and <laughs> everyone's kind of, How are you feeling in this moment? God, I am so relieved because now like it's out, it's out the yeah. album's out. Yeah. And I feel like, yeah, it's just about like detachment and it's like I, I just all I can do is like bring my best every day. I'm playing shows again in the video for Corazon, the single that just came yes. out, like oh. it's uh, that comes out tomorrow. It's it's like I'm playing all these shows. I was at Coachella, I was at Lollapalooza with my friend Dom Dalla and <laughs> you know, or I just did a track with another DJ friend, SG Lewis. So it's really for me about community and making friends, you know? It's yeah. about making new connections and yeah. keeping you know, it's at the end. Yeah. Just because no, the album's not. out. Yeah. No. It's like more. More. I yes. wanna make more. <laughs> I love it. I love, I love it. More five hundred songs. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's why. There's more to come back to. I can't stop. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Nelly, yeah. awesome. you're the you're loveliest. You're so awesome. Oh, thank you. Thank you so you. much. And Nelly's album, Seven, will be out in September, but you're dropping the song, Corazon, tomorrow. Yeah, that's the album cover. Um, Yeah, Corazon drops uh, tomorrow. Amazing. Yeah. And then the album's out September 20th, which we actually is my, my oldest birthday. Oh, oh I love that. You know that. what? All it's just things, a coincidence. All wonderful things. Thank <laughs> you, Nelly. Thank, thank you. you.